Hey, it's all with your reminders of what is up this coming week in Warcraft. Hit that like button, subscribe for more coverage, catch me live, and let's get right to it. Thank goodness for the Winds of Sanctuary buff. As we hoped, the bonus reputation applies to virtually every reputation in the game with the exception of the Niffin. It sounds disappointing, yes, but what about other reps that we could be working on over the next few weeks, like the Avowed, maybe? How about you get off your butt, soul, and get Netherwing done? It's only been like 15 years. Side note, I did do this on my Warlock back when that was my main, oh well. In a few days, the Midsummer Fire Festival begins. It's a two-week event that includes a 10% experience buff to pick up that lasts for one hour. So let's see if this stacks with the current 50% buff for bigger gains. We're not sure if there are new cosmetics being added this year, but now is as good a time as any to complete your transmog collections as some of these appearances maybe have changed to be permanently unlocked. The drawback is that this holiday is all about visiting bonfires all over Azeroth on your regular 310 flying mount. Have fun with that, but maybe it'll be different next year. With any luck though, a few bonfires will be added to the Dragon Isles for easy access, but there's plenty of time to get all these rewards including some easy gear from the Frost Lord Ahun, it's only a dungeon queue away. Arena skirmishes are the thing, and Deep Wind Dunk is the brawl this week, get yourself out with all the crowd control abilities you can, and then weep as paladins barrel through all of it anyway. This week, the final wing of Raid Thunder opens up, despite the questline that comes after that being available since last week, and that's okay. This marks the season content fully opening up for all players, meaning new items, new access, and even more evokers spamming this emote. Surely by now the WoW team can be like, okay, I think they had enough time to stop the spam, or you know, even better, they should buff it and write out the name of the person who made that legendary, so congrats to Corpse Fondle on your super duper weapon. What else do we get from this last boss? There's the uber powerful trinkets, the beacon to the beyond. There's the rare cloak, the voice of the silent star that procs a powerful secondary boost at the expense of others, but they're not gonna miss those stats. There's also a full dragon riding skin for the Highland Drake and the Omni tier token to score you whatever tier you're still missing. A while back, the WoW team said that at some point, fewer tier pieces will drop from raids because most everyone will have easy access to tier through the Revival Catalyst. This will not mean that fewer gear will drop, but for example, if two tier tokens are supposed to drop from a given raid size, instead one token will drop and the other item will be something else, like maybe the Super Trinket. That'd be pretty awesome if or when that change kicks in. And over in Mythic Plus World, this past week's affixes were Fortified, Storming, and Bursting, which was about as good of an outcome as we would have hoped. Fortified Bursting can be painful when there are big mobs with strong AoE abilities, but Storming and Bursting only gives a small window when a healer might get bounced and they can't get heals off to save people. Otherwise, this week was for pushing. As for what may be coming up next, we're sort of at a blank state, other than having seen a raging a few weeks back, so it's anyone's guess what's going to stack with Tyrannical this time around. Patch 1015 is still pushing along and we're waiting for wrinkles to be ironed out. The Mega Dungeon still needs a loot table, certain daily quests are going to be changed or even removed, and there's really no telling what other surprises are in store for this patch. It's pretty dense compared to Dragonflight's 10.0.5. But when big news drops, you bet I'll be pouncing on it. So be sure to like this video, subscribe for more content, catch me live as I wind down on the Diablo 4 coverage, and I'll catch you later. Let's have Bob close us out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. You start in town, get up all the weeds, then you head down. Check and notice what there are in ten. Then you do a circle around the aisles, helping dragons for a while, do a hunt, cook soup and some bounties. You would put some dungeons, stopping the fictions, helping the dragon nations. And you're just a gamer, you're just trying to get the big reputation, big reputation. Ooh, you and me were probably big reputations. Ah.